Hello everyone, this is Jay Yao. Welcome back to Jay Gamer Channel. Today we're gonna continue playing another episode on Genshin Impact Lantern Ride Festival event, and I hope I can finish more than enough in this one hour available for me today. And without further ado, let's begin. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please remember to subscribe to my channel. It will help me out a lot. Thank you. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. Because without you, there's no me. I mean, you are my audience. Okay, here you go. Mm-hmm. Is Huda a singer too? I don't know, because I know I'm new. Alright, let's take a break here. Okay. Oh wow, look who it is! Are you here to hang out with everyone's favorite funeral director? Yes. So you're just casually practicing your rapping skills at the entrance to your funeral parlor? In broad daylight? Uh okay. I uh wow. <laughs> After everything we've been through, you don't see me for a hot minute, and you're back to being scared of your own shadow. Own shadow. Okay. We have all this open space, a clear view of the mountains behind and the sea in front. Not to mention we have several invisible audience see. members enthusiastically cheering us on. It's the perfect spot to rehearse. All right. Invisible audience. <laughs> You're a spooking pine one, huh? Gotta say, it took me a few days to get used to Director Who's way of talking. <laughs> Shinyan was pretty spooked too when she first got here. Just like when she sees a frog, but a giant frog with sharp teeth. Come on, knock it off! What's wrong? I've never seen someone look so confused before. Well, don't worry, because Director Who's here to explain it all. Okay. <clears throat> There once was a Fontaine musician who went around town on a mission. He came door to door for his iridescence tour, looking for acts to audition. Is this a poem? Because you rhyme well at the door to door iridescent tour. With my words, Shinyan's chorus and Yunjin as our mentor, we'll take the stage by storm with flames roaring and the whole audience calling for more. Okay, for sure. I guess. The whole dance floor will be yelling encore, encore! The whole oh, dance floor will be on flame, right on fire! <laughs> Flames roaring. Are you sure this will be safe? <laughs> oh, don't you worry about that. I'm pretty experienced on the stage, and I've already informed the Yuhong of all the pyrotechnics we're planning on using. Okay. Huh. Guess we'll just have to trust Chinyan on this one. Ever seen Zhongli directly? Oh, Zhongli? He took one of those fancy meal boxes and set off for the mountains. Said he wanted to pay a visit to some old friends. It's a real pity that he couldn't be around for this. As well as being a true connoisseur of traditional art forms, he's able to appreciate Shinyan's performances too. Yeah, that's right. Matter of fact, he was the one who first invited me to perform here. Oh, okay. To tell the truth, though, I never thought I'd really find myself rehearsing here one day. <laughs> well, now you know. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is a great location. All of you are always welcome to come and hang out here, especially if you're in the mood to try something new. <laughs> what do you mean by something new? I can speak to that. Hu Tao is always full of fun surprises. And jump scares. <laughs> Actually, Shinyan, I have some lyric ideas for your part. Do you want to go through them together? Sure. sure thing. I'm all ears. I'm all ears. Uh, Traveler in Paimon, I <clears throat> believe Zhongli was heading to Mount Hulao, so make sure you're hiking up the right hill. But okay. when you see Zhongli, please pass on this message to him. It's up to him whether he wants to support us at the performance tonight. But I expect him to make time for the upcoming banquet we're planning. No banquet? excuses. Banquet? You should join us too. It'll be a riot. If there's one thing I've learned from being a funeral director, it's how to throw a party. Okay. I'm sure a party. Where is it? Mm, before that, I want to talk to them again. Is there anything to talk about? I don't know. Okay, everyone, I think that's a long enough break. Let's take it from the top, shall we? Ugh, Ms. Yoon is such a strict mentor. <laughs> These breaks aren't even long enough to have a sip of tea. <laughs> well, you were desperate to get involved, and this is what it takes. If I gave you half the chance, you'd be sipping tea till nightfall. <laughs> hey, how about I treat us all to some late-night snacks once we're done? Hotel, what you craving? Hmm, how about some stir-fried filet with a side of crab roe tofu? Crab roe tofu? Mm. <laughs> Where are we going to find crab roe tofu so late at night? We could always just go pester masterful chef Xiongling. Mm, now I'm hungry. All right, <laughs> let's knock this out and then go grab some food. Okay, see you later. You guys enjoy your rehearsal. I'm going to look for Master Zhongli. Ah, there's the... Is it mountain shipper? I don't know. 
the big teapot. Okay, greetings everyone. Long time no see. Hmm, a familiar face. <clears throat> Have you Moin come Harbor. to the U.S. Harbor? How is the city nowadays? Everything's great. But you know, if you're so curious, you can always go and check it out for yourself. <laughs> in fact, Moon Carver has been taking many walks on Mount Jinhung <coughs> in recent times. I believe the sights of the city are quite familiar to him. Zhongli, here you are. We've brought the bamboo shoots you want. Impeccable timing. <laughs> Impeccable timing. Traditionally, bamboo shoot soup ought to be slow cooked for many hours on low heat. Using uh, a dip this arts to hasten the process is something of a shortcut. So this is like the pressure cooker. <laughs> Wait, that mechanism. Indeed. Cloud Retainer kindly lent me her supreme cuisine machine. Uh, Can we not just call it a cooking machine? Ugh, actually, never mind. Can we just call it a pressure cooker? <laughs> she seems to take a lot of pride in her mechanical gizmos, so it's probably best if Ivan doesn't go changing the name willy nilly. Okay. I trust that you found the answers you were seeking during your recent journey? Excellent. Yes. The past should be remembered, but not overly dwelt upon. Our journey should be seen as a means to take on more from the world around us. When the bamboo shoot soup is ready, I must insist that you try some for yourself. Of course! Young Lee, who taught all this to tell you something? What is it? I forgot already. <laughs> she said, it's up to him whether he wants to support us at the performance tonight, uh. but I expect him to make time for the upcoming banquet we're planning. No excuses! When she says performance, she must be in the Lantern Right Music Festival. As yep. for the banquet, uh, she didn't tell us anything more about that, but she invited us to come as well. As you can see, I have a prior engagement with two Adepti friends of mine tonight. Please, give Director Who my best wishes for the performance. You can all hang out at the music festival. It doesn't have to be separated. As for the banquet, hmm. Since the director insists, far be it from a mere consultant like myself to refuse. Yay! Then we'll see you there? Absolutely. Rex Lapis, the bamboo <clears throat> shoot soup is ready. Okay, not the shaper. Thank you. I will examine it right away. Hmm. The appearance is exquisite, and the aroma rich and intense. The craftsmanship Appearance. of this machine is commendable indeed. Do you have some Superman eye to get and see through the pot? I don't see the bamboo tree inside because it's closed. Since you came all this mm. way, you should not leave empty-handed. Please, take some take soup. Some soup. It tastes most exquisite while still warm. Yay, I want to try them. Let me see, let me see. Do you have a picture of it? Oh, you do have. Uh, it's night time already? That was fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honored to be here on the Iridescence Tour stage. All right, without further ado, I'm Shin Yan. This is Hutao, and this is a little something called... What? The Blaze Lilies! The Blaze Lilies. Okay. I'm up here blazing trails through the midnight sky. Lighting up the world through. And when the crowds all hear my voice, they'll meet the spirit. Rock and roll! Let's go! Hey, you butterfly, you too fuzz and bite. Got no way to the afterlife. Open in the path without a fright. Oh! I'll light the fire, watch it blaze across the universe. I'll spit my rhymes, watch it step, or you'll get burned! Burn. Hey! Woo! Okay. Yeah! That's it. Does anyone have any plans tomorrow? With another year behind us, I think we deserve a celebration of our own. Hmm. My treat. Interested? The Tian Xuan footing the bill? I can't miss out on that. <laughs> Where are you going? Hmm. Huh? Gigi. <laughs> Fireworks. Happy London run. We haven't get her from the pooling. Master, Master, listen. <laughs> May the year ahead be a blessed one. I believe it shall be. It shall be. 
Shenpar. Shenpar. Master, the Shao Lanterns, I... Ha! Elementary! One shall fashion for you a Shao Lantern the likes of which the world has never seen. And you must take it to Liyue Harbor to display its magnificence for all. What? What was Shao Lantern? Smoky with all the fireworks. Ta da! Yes. Between facets, facets, and similar faces, wait until the following night, 7 to. Okay. Let's fast travel then. Human life is like the dew at dawn, or a bump. Okay, now I need to get a move on and write my next song. <laughs> Listen to you, you only just fulfilled one lifetime dream. Are you really thinking about your next goal already? Don't try to tell me you ain't the same way. I bet you've already thought of a name for your next opera, haven't you? <laughs> you know me too well, Xin Yan. Hey, hold on. Know you too well, Xin Yan? The Adeptus Seeking Voyage. Well. How does that sound? <laughs> oh, man! Yeah, I can already picture it. I've also got <laughs> just the finishing line for it. I'll close with, and the celestial melody echoed through the clouds forevermore. Okay, I can't wait to hear you sing. What was that? I see very well. Have we been here? I don't know, I have no clue. No, I don't think so. So, why don't we just fight this thing? Okay. I've never been here before. Why do I never come? Why? Why I never come here? I have no idea. Okay. Oh, you need any more? Uh, okay. Hold on. Party set up, party set up. Uh, uh, excuse me for a while. I would like to swap you with a Venti, uh? Venti, Venti, where are you? Didn't keep you waiting, did I? Okay. How do I? Oh, sorry. What happened? Where did we go? Oh, this one? Have we done this before in the land? Have we done this before? I have no idea. Let's just see. Yeah, we did this before. Yeah, that's funny. Prefer to use uh, Yenfei for this one because fire makes well electric as well. Or you want Shaolin? No, Yenfei lah. Next time, because, be sure to make a proper yeah. appointment. Because Chao will have limited time for the the sword fighting because it's not her, not his main weapon. Shine down. <laughs> Bring it on. Rip time. 
Amateur mistake. Complete the time challenge. No. Okay. Uh, where should we fly to? Can we just start from here again? Maybe we can. Because it's the peak of the mountain, so we can travel far. Okay. Wow. We have enough gear on hand. Oh, there's the Iron Storm here. Should we try to fight the Iron Storm? Yeah, we can try. What is this two treasure? This is it gone, okay. Let's go collect this one first. Ooh, we can Sorry, definitely write button. this off as incidental gains. There's a treasure over there as well. Definitely write this off as incidental gains. Where is that thing again? So now I need Joe. Give me a moment. With my Joe character. My main character is Joe. No. Yeah. So. Quick setup. I don't know what setup, sorry. The boy. Leave. Uh, um, you. RT. Ballad of the treasure chest. Motion to compel. Okay. Tidal wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mr. Zhongli, I have them all noted down. I've long heard that your knowledge encompasses all things old and new, Mr. Zhongli, but I never knew that you were well versed in the art of cooking, too. It is truly an honor to make your acquaintance. Oh, no need for formalities. I too feel humbled to be in the company of such talented young people. There are many things I could learn from you. Oh, you flatter us. Um, if it's possible, may I trouble you to provide a few words of guidance for my practices in exorcism? Exorcism? I can't say I'm an expert in the field, but if you don't mind, we could start by discussing... Whoa! Wow. There's so many people here! 
But they still have some empty seats. Oh, we knew was that hotel invited Chung Lee over. Paimon never thought we'd be meeting so many old friends. <laughs> Happy Lantern Ride, everyone! Happy Likewise. Lantern Ride! Please take a seat. Okay. Where should we sit? Next to Chung Lee? Happy Lantern Ride! Are you having fun? I'm learning a lot. I become musically culture. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Me too. I've seen Shinyan perform before, but this is the first time I've watched something like this. I heard that the audience loved it too, and she's been receiving quite a lot of performance invitations lately. Wow. She's more busy than ever, and Yoonjin's gonna help her. Is that a consequence of mistake? She's busier than ever, not she's more busy than ever, right? But yeah, who cares? <laughs> yep, and they asked us to pass on their season's greetings to everyone. They hope we'll have a wonderful gathering. The, ass is the, pass on. Okay. the performance was spectacular indeed. However, it gave Shang Ling a huge burst of inspiration, which in turn gave us a bit of a headache. What kind of That's... headache? Did Shang Ling ask you to try out her dishes too? <laughs> that, my friend, is beside the point. Watching you eat was enough for me. <laughs> uh, just okay. it. I probably shouldn't have burdened Chong Yoon with eating my share too. Hold on, Shang Ling came up like... with a new recipe? <gasps> Let Paima try! See? Someone here knows how to encourage people. Thank you, <laughs> okay. Oh, and I have to thank Mr. Zhang Li too. He gave me lots of useful pointers that really drove it home for me. Oh, so that's what you were talking about before we arrived. Yes. Since we'll be dining together, the topic of our conversation naturally revolved around cooking. Cooking. Zhang Ling's ideas are truly unconventional. Her choices in both ingredients and spices are comparable to a melody dancing on the tongue. My suggestions were nothing more than the icing on the cake. The two of you always deliver. <laughs> now I'm getting embarrassed. Anyway, I'll get everyone to have a taste after I've adjusted the recipe based on Mr. Zhang Li's advice. Hmm. That sounds like it might become a little safer to eat. Why is that supposed to be? Zhang Li is a good cook. She doesn't poison you anyway. She's not bad at it anyway. <laughs> How about I sample the dishes next time? Speaking of eating, Paimon feels like we're missing someone. Xing Yan? Uh, Yan Fei? Oh, Hu was the one who invited Huda. us, but yeah. she's not here. Oh, oh, Globo volunteered to help Dad at the restaurant. Uh, you no, know, lots of people come over to eat during Lantern Rite. Without Globo helping out, I probably wouldn't have had the time to accept Hu Tao's invitation. Uh, As for Hu Tao... The director went to collect a guest. She asked me to stay here and host you for the time being. Okay. Seems like it's almost time. Huh? Hu Tao went to fetch someone in person? Oh, that must mean they are super important. Oh, uh, Xiao, is it? Maybe... She didn't clarify. And as her subordinate, I couldn't just pry into the details, could I? Do -do, do -do, to the restaurant first open as it's struck by a hurricane. We're here. Hey. Oh, we're not late to the party, right? A good thing the conqueror of demons and I are both as swift as the wind. And whoosh, we made it just in time. <laughs> sure. Ooh. Ooh. I see. So the important guest is the conqueror of demons. I've been looking forward to meeting you. The director didn't mention anything when she invited us. What a pleasant surprise. What a pleasant surprise. Gathered here surprise. with us tonight are not only young and accomplished individuals, but also the protector of Leo's peace, Adeptus Alatus. Adeptus Alatus? To convene here with all of you is indeed a great honor. Uh... What's with that face? A few days ago at Wang Shui Inn. What happened? It's almost lantern right. Yet you took all the trouble coming here. <sighs> the director has a way of making it difficult to decline. Rex Lapis, may I ask what troubles you? The director asked me to buy sesame oil in preparation for the celebrations. Huh. Then why would you come all the way to Wang Shuin? I had a pleasant chat with Chef Yen Chao and received some spices from him. And, see? Here's some matsutake and a portion of ham. What about the sesame oil? Mm, it's a shame. I couldn't find the kind the director was looking for. Why? And then what happened? Do you get to play as you shall? I'm sure you're no? exaggerating, Shang. Uh, uh, sir. Uh, there he goes again. Enough with the pleasantries. Go let our guests take a seat. Everyone here today is well known in their own field and has probably heard about one another to some extent. Some of us are even old acquaintances, so there's no need to be this formal. I wonder, does today? I mean, does Paimon need a challenge? <laughs> I never seen Paimon sitting on a chair. 
Like, maybe she need a baby chair than the proper chair to sit and eat the food. I heard that the conqueror of demons and the traveler are pretty close, no? We are old friends. Great, right. you two sit together. Okay. You should take a seat too, Director. Oh, finally remembered me. When we arrived just now, the host at Shinue Kiosk told me our dishes are almost ready. Perfect timing. Let's not wait any longer and ask them to bring out the food. Okay, isn't it? Isn't the food already on the table? Yeah. Paimon would have never guessed the person who Tao went to fetch was Xiao. Mm. Oh, that's also the first I've heard of the Traveler and Paimon being friends with the Conqueror of Demons. Look at the food, what was that? Is that crab at the center? Like a big, a few big crabs. And then some are maybe tofu and I don't know. You know Xiao Chu? Knowing is a bit of an overstatement. I've always looked up to him. You might not know this, Paimon, but we exorcists have worked in close collaboration with the Conqueror of Demons for many generations, dispelling evil together, both in the open and from the shadows. Hard to imagine that thanks to Hu Tao, I've finally gotten the chance to meet him. Conqueror of Demons, I'm honored to make your acquaintance. Likewise. It is a great honor indeed to have a chance to meet the legendary Conqueror of Demons. <coughs> Chang Yun has brought that name up quite a few times in the past. I remember you mentioning wanting him to understand the importance of exorcists. <coughs> uh, we know each other too. He helped try my dishes during the Masterful Chef's cook-off. <laughs> I didn't think we'd have the chance to meet again. A happy lantern ride. No anecdote, however, compares to meeting you in person. I'm Sing Cho, Shang Ling and Chang Yun's friend. The pleasure is all mine. Whoa. Everyone's getting all formal and polite all of a sudden. Uh, Paimon doesn't know what she should say anymore. You still can use the word illuminated bird. Illuminating bird and il illuminating deer or something like that. Uh, Sorry. Adeptus Xiao, mighty conqueror of demons. Please accept Paimon's greetings too. Belated happy lantern rite. Belated isn't the right word to use here. Paimon tried very hard to look for a fancy word, okay? Don't be too harsh on Paimon. There's no need to be so polite. You're right. This was meant to be a nice little get-together between friends, after all. Too much formality kills the atmosphere. I didn't plan this gathering only for everyone to walk on eggshells. I okay. What's your true intention, then? A little get-together between friends, sipping the finest tea, and watching lanterns yeah, float into, into the sky. Bidding farewell to the past, and embracing the present with joy. And yeah. that is something our consultant would say. I think it deserves a standing ovation. <laughs> Indeed. Exceptional acting skills, Director. Acting As for me, I'm just here to have fun and treat everyone to something good. We all worked really hard this year. Whether traveling or guiding, cooking, helping with the family business, exercising evil spirits, or conquering demons. And of course, our consultant, who's been helping out at the parlor every now- Everyone has done some pretty amazing- As the one who brought everyone together, it goes without saying that I'm the one most deserving of praise. Hi. Hey. Sounds kind of self-important, but <laughs> Paimon thinks it's pretty amazing that she managed to talk Xiao into coming. He rarely <clears throat> ever enters Liyue Harbor, after all. I'm curious about how she did it. It wasn't as complicated as you think. Really? Not long ago, I launched her in again. Okay, gotcha. Thanks, boss lady. Uh, it's not boss lady, just boss. And there she goes. What a lively girl. Conqueror of Demons, <coughs> Adepta Shell. <coughs> Guardian of Wangshu In, Hero of Dihua Mart. I know you're there. <laughs> there. Quiet. Do not disturb the peace. Sorry, but you wouldn't show up if I didn't yell your name, would you? I know you. You're the 77th director of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. 77? Is there something you need? That's it. <laughs> that does sound like one of Hu Tao's antics. Did the Conqueror of Demons agree to come so that Hu Tao would stop pestering him? <clears throat> there might be other reasons. <laughs> Smart guess, huh? There's more to it? It gets pretty boring from here on. I talked about the funeral parlor's past relationships with the Guardian Yakshas. You know, just to be sociable. In the time of the Archon War, disputes were frequent, and disaster overtook the land. Humans couldn't escape from the torment of the plague. Nor the Adepti vanquished the demons, the Millilith fought valiantly, and Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor was responsible for purifying the diseased and sending off the spirits of the dead. That is how the border between life and death was maintained during the war. 
And it effectively prevented further incidents from happening. That's right. Okay. One point for the consultant. But despite our deep-rooted connection, it still took me quite a while to actually convince him. Was he worried about his karma? You know him pretty well, huh? This matter is out of my control, so I need to be cautious. True, but I've kept that in mind too. That's why everyone here today is in one way or another acquainted with elemental power. Besides, it'll only be for a short while as we dine together. There won't be any lasting consequences. But I didn't expect there to be so many people. There's no need to worry, Conqueror of Demons. We're not feeling anything unusual so far. Okay. Our young exorcist over here is protected by his pure yang energy, so he's probably the most resilient. Sorry. Th that's not the same. And did you just toss your carrots into my bowl? <clears throat> hey, don't look Huh? We're not fighting with Chong Yun. I saw that too. Okay. Your lucky Guoba isn't here today. He hates seeing people being picky with their food. If he'd seen that, he'd definitely make you eat all your carrots. Sorry. Did you again? Guoba would do that? Is he that uncompromised? Hmm. But now that I think of it, Xiangling told me that Guoba used to be the stove god. Sorry. <laughs> it sounds like you've heard the rumors. Hmm. I'm doing fine. Not long ago, before Lantern Rite, I met an old friend thanks to his help. Things have been a lot more stable than before. Sorry. <laughs> That's good to hear. Give everything you don't eat to find on an old friend. Right! Wait, what? <sighs> Seeds of story. And cultivated by time. Uh, mm. did Paima just unconsciously complete the thing? Just playing with the rhyme, right? That here. voice. Could it be? Hmm? Whose voice? If I'm not mistaken, there's someone knocking at the door. Is it a ninja? Uh, don't just sit there, Zhongli. Go welcome our guest in. No such need. I'm coming in. Oh, Venti, this. <laughs> you finally let me in. Hello, hello. No matter if we've met before or not, this moment marks a brand new encounter. Old friends and new. Happy Lantern Rite! Happy oh, lantern right. it's the Tone Deaf Bard. <laughs> My name is Venti, the Tone Deaf Bard. Oh, <laughs> he seems to carry a valiant breeze wherever he goes. It looks like we're going to be friends. Sorry. Fate has brought us together, so come on, take a seat, and be my guest. Help yourself. Oh, I'll ask them for another set of cutlery. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this young lady here is as bright as a fresh bouquet of flowers in the morning's rising sun. Whoa, these dishes look amazing. Is it really, really okay, okay for me to join in? <laughs> All right, I'm digging it. Nice food, festival food. What was that? That carrot and mushroom on the far right, and it's the bok choy or choy sam. Huh? It's you. Oh, hey, isn't you. this Jen Yu? Jen Yu. Jen Yu. He's gonna give Sing Chu a pen name. No, <laughs> away. Oh, uh, yep. Now that I've taken a closer look, you're uh. a fan of Jen Yu's works. Aren't you? I met Sing Cho at a light novel convention. Oh, <laughs> how I wish we'd met sooner. Sorry. I never expected that there'd be another person in this world who could interpret Gen Yu's new novel as thoroughly as I could. Venti, you're being too humble. Considering your poetic talent, your fundamentals are way more impressive. Okay. <clears throat> could this new guest be Master Sing Cho's friend? Okay. Uh, he's my old pal. Too busy here, it's interesting, right? Um, be yeah. better than <laughs> Xiao, you remember me too, right? We had a chat not long ago. Yes, yes. Monsters become more active than usual as we get closer to Lantern Rite. I was patrolling Dihua Marsh a few days ago. Hmm? 
You've already forgotten? I'm a bard, remember? He's right. And bards go around singing wherever they like. Oh, right. And this bard was performing in Dihua Marsh. It was a moving melody. And it made me feel relaxed and at ease. I couldn't help but stay and listen. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. I understand now, too. I'm Zhong Li, currently working at the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. It's a pleasure to meet you, new friend. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And I'm his boss. Oh, and if there's anything unsatisfactory, let me know and- That's very considerate of- Oh? Hmm. No wonder. Only a boss as savvy and reliable as you would be able to hire such an impressive consultant. Speaking of, why is the tone deaf bard here? Are you here to take part in Lantern Rite 2? I heard that Liyue will be hosting a Lantern Rite music festival this year. As a musician myself, how could I... Oh, getting to know other musical styles is essential to sparking inspiration, don't you think? Sorry. As for the Fontaine friend who hosted the festival, I saw him near Stone Gate the other day. The Iridescence oh. Tour has finally been held successfully for once, so I had to congratulate him. Oh, did you? Don't think anything of it. By the way, I was watching as you entered Shinyue Kiosk, but no one seemed to notice me. Should I say that it's because I'm an expert in hiding, or that a certain someone deliberately ignored the sound of the wind? <laughs> Does he understand the wind message? Whenever Lantern Right comes around, Liyue <laughs> Harbor becomes bustling with activity. People are all busy watching the lanterns and strolling around the shops, and they might just go travel somewhere on a whim. It is rather difficult to predict another's whereabouts. The festival is in full swing and proceeding smoothly. And we're all gathered here with friends, new and old. This is no doubt a wonderful occasion worth celebrating. To come okay. together with all of you at the beginning of the year, one can't help but be filled with joy. Is that a noodle with a mushroom on top or what? It's like a bow. In a moment like this, I propose we raise a glass together. In my case, tea a in tea. lieu of wine. Uh. Okay. Huh? Very well said, Mr. Zhongli. That was exactly what I wanted to say. Really? Uh, now I'm getting a little self-conscious. I didn't cause you too much trouble barging in like that, did I? We usually drink wine during occasions like this over in Mondstadt, but since Mr. Zhongli insists on drinking tea, I'll give a toast, with, toast tea with tea too. You're okay. welcome. As the host of this gathering, I hope everyone enjoys the food and drinks. May this year be better than the last. Considering that everyone may have other matters to attend to later, sticking to tea seems like a good idea. Okay. Uh, no, I want to get drunk. All of a sudden, they started proposing toast. Should, should we? What's Shall. with the urgency? Are you done eating? Want to head out for a walk? I ate too much. Could you take? Could you come take a walk with me? Is something to tell? I don't know. <sighs> sure. Have you two finished eating? It's always nice to have a breath of fresh air after a meal. Helps with digestion. Um, uh, Paimon will come too. You are still hungry, right? Uh, yeah? Don't worry, we'll be back soon. Okay then. Don't forget to come back! She don't like being abandoned? Let's depart. You go ahead. Okay. Oh, I'm standing already. Where's John Lee? Oh, About you and Venti. Uh, <laughs> Could he be a partner in your family business? That's right. Oh, you know how my no. family is. A lot of business secrets can't just be divulged at the dinner table. Ah, just as I thought. Really? Good night. Did you talk about anything interesting before we started the meal? Anything fun I missed out on? Oh, we were talking about cooking. cooking. Mr. Zhongli told us that he went on a trip to Chaoyang Village the other day and got a hold of some uncommon ingredients. Seed oil, oil, oil and sesame oil. He suggested I try using those. Oh, no wonder he left his post for so long that those ingredients would be difficult for anyone else to find. Okay. I guess I'll need his help next time as well. So is he good at expedition if you, if you have the character? Let's talk. Are you alright? I should be the one asking you that. Uh, I... It's hard to describe. I'm familiar with a gathering like this? It's not that. There were those among the Adepti who loved gatherings and idle chit-chat. 
Sometimes, Sometimes they would call up a few others for a drink. Even I got dragged along to their gatherings many times. The Adepti all have their specialties, making most of them proud and arrogant. Everything they say is straight from the heart. It never gets too complicated, but this time... It's not Venti's fault? I wasn't listening, I think I fell asleep. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, I would just say Venti, I guess. No, no. I didn't mean that. So you know his true identity. I'll get straight to the point. The Animo Archon is a free spirit. And his temperament is as carefree as the music he plays on the flute. It's easy, it's easy for a god like, like him to live in harmony with humans. And that's something I might never be able to do. Oh. You don't have to be like them. Hmm. That does sound like something you would say. No matter. I know my circumstances. Whenever I think of the ordinary conversations I've had with you, it feels... strangely novel. Strangely in a good yes. way? The parlor director went out of her way with the invitation. So it was difficult to turn her down. I had made mental preparations before agreeing to come. She told me that all the guests today would be acquainted with elemental power. And I knew that you would be here, but I didn't expect the other guests to be... No, we would have General Capesis always said that we should live in the present and enjoy every pleasant surprise. Perhaps that's what I should do with what I'm feeling now. But I think he meant designing clothes for those around him. The clothes were intricately designed, but inconvenient to wear. Inconvenient. Brother Bosatius never tried to hide his distaste in front of him. Rex Lapis did like his designs and even collected quite a few. The outfit he wears now was also designed by General Capesis himself. I never saw him wear this during the war. I didn't expect him to start wearing it later. Okay. Oh, here you are! The Johnny was wearing one of the dress, uh, I mean, outfit by design by Capis. Um, I'm not intruding, right? You're not. Uh, who tells saw that everyone's done eating and asked the staff to bring out the desserts? Paimon got so anxious that you weren't back yet that she scarfed down her dessert without the usual slurping and munching. Oh. But not so anxious that she can't eat. Sounds like she will be okay. Uh, to be honest, I was kind of worried too. You looked a little restless just now, and I thought you weren't used to the food here and was planning to head back to Wangshu Inn for something Yan Chao made. You're worrying too much. Xiao, don't pull any lemmis. What? Lemonis static wing seconds on us. Why would I? Anyway, let's head back. Oh, please wait! There's another reason why I came looking for here. Take these. I brought them for you. Home and tofu? Yeah. Oh. Is your favorite? Since the masterful chef's competition, you can say that Yen Xiao and I are not only competitors, but good friends as well. I visit him at Wang Shu In sometimes to discuss their cooking. I heard him say that the esteemed guest on the roof loves nothing more than a good plate of almond tofu. So I learned a thing or two about the dish from him. I'll be honest, before Hu Tao invited everyone, she secretly came looking for me, told me about the guest she planned to oh. invite, and asked me for some suggestions on what she should order. So I made a few servings of almond tofu for you guys in advance. Oh, Take them okay. as a token of gratitude for your support. When I told Guoba that I was making these for you, he started eagerly running around the kitchen and helping a lot too. Thanks. Thank you, Shaolin and Guo Thank you for the trouble. There was no need to... I'll take them. Thank you. And Guoba, too. So she... I mean, this is trying to say that Shao is much more introvert or doesn't like to take things from people, from human. Yeah, like, don't like those offerings. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, the almond tofu I made probably tastes and feels a little different from the type Yan Shao cooks. Please let me know if there's any improvements I should... Okay. <laughs> That's all. Alrighty, we should head back now. Okay. Time on railway. Come on, faster. Anything to talk, 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 and you're gonna talk, talk, talk. <laughs> and they go out soon after this. Need to fetch someone for some uh, rehearsal. We're finally done whispering secrets to each other. <laughs> so much for promising, Paimon. You'll be back soon. <laughs> We were pretty. We were pretty quick. You are the only. You are only angry because you have no sense of time. How could you say that to Paimon? In that case, besides having no sense of time, Paimon will let you know what having no sense of fullness looks like. Who Your dessert does? is all Paimon's. Sorry okay. to keep everyone waiting. <laughs> angry. No worries. We're all just chatting here. There's no serious business to take care of. Okay. Whether we're chatting outside or inside, it's all the same. Strive to be more like good house, Paimon. <laughs> Too busy eating to talk to you. But even okay. though we're all well acquainted by now, I think this festive gathering deserves something ceremonious. Oh? Is this some local custom? Nope. This is something I made up so that good luck will be on our side. That's all. Spontaneity is the best choice to make here. Um, let's Spontane. use this incense burner on the table. It's been what? lit for so long now that the incense is running out. I'll leave refilling and lighting the incense. 
to the most distinguished guest among us all. Lighting the incense will signify continuous growth and prosperity in all our endeavors in the new year. I see. Perfect symbolism, as expected. And speaking of the most distinguished guest here today, I'm sure we all agree that it's Mr. Zhongli. I'm not very familiar with the details of his past deeds, but chatting with him has been a real eye-opener, even for a bard who has traveled all across the world. Mm. If knowledge were a form of power, one could even say that you're a wielder of unlimited strength. But when it comes to having a way with words, the notable bard is certainly one cut above the rest. I just happen to have a good memory. It is such an unexceptional skill, yet you made it sound like an unparalleled talent. I am truly impressed. Mm -mm. Since we all get to nominate someone... Nominate? Mm-hmm. I think it's only fair that we let the parlor director light the incense. Huh? That won't do. Don't flatter me just because I'm your boss. We are looking for the most distinguished guest here. As the host, I shouldn't be involved in this discussion. Now that we've enjoyed this table full of delicacies, how about we let our one and only chef here do the honors? Um, is this really the way this works? I didn't cook any of these dishes. It's not a big deal. Just look at her. Xiangling, the disciple of an adeptus, the stove god's best companion, the winner of the masterful chef's competition. The only heir of the famous One Mean Restaurant. Okay. A good old friend of mine. There's no better choice. Uh, why does Paimon feel like we're back at square one again? Uh, Please stop! That? You're making me embarrassed! If we're looking for a distinguished guest, surely the second son of the famed uh, Commerce Guild counts? It's I think one of the Commerce Guild in Liyue Harbor! Huh? Don't get me involved in that. Oh, not a bad choice! With the uh, Commerce Guild's young master lighting the incense, we're all sure to make a huge sum of Mora in the- That's not how it works. Making a fortune is indeed a fine wish. But it's of lesser importance than good health and happiness. Which means, we should choose Chong Yun, uh, okay, the okay. skilled expert. Huh? <laughs> so well, nice. I can't be the one when we have the Conqueror of Demons right here. Adeptus Shao has the most seniority among everyone here today. I refuse. Uh oh. I am most certainly not the most distinguished guest here. Is he going to say it's Jong? You should all be able to make the right judgment based on your observations. Wait, One oh. person here is well acquainted with everyone else. Hmm? Me? Oh, that's right! What? Even though you're always mocking Paimon, you're still pretty <laughs> popular with other people. Uh. No, wait! Paimon said you were not again! I'm not the only one well-connected person here, though. Huh? Who else is there? You, of course. Take a look in the mirror. <laughs> huh? Does that mean... Paimon's the most distinguished guest? Oh, well, that was unexpected! Oh. I agree. Paimon's just the one we need. Without a friend constantly by your side, a long, long journey, journey would, would become dreadfully, dreadfully lonesome. Nonsense. But nonsense. once you have someone there to brighten up the atmosphere, everything along the way will become lively and vibrant too. Uh, yeah. Agree. The traveler has traversed many nations and left behind a great deal of fascinating stories. But without Paimon, they would have become quite monotonous. Paimon oh. plays an indispensable role in making your journey a happy and smooth one. Oh. Uh, guys, Paimon's not used to being praised like oh. that. Uh, those were genuine compliments, right? Of course, you're the best travel companion Thank ever. Thank you. You made oh. Paimon wait for a long time, but Paimon's not mad anymore. Don't oh. take everything to heart, Paimon. Friends tease each other all the time. <laughs> That is indeed true. And that means Paimon is as important to the Traveler as Guoba is to me. Aww. Looks like we've come to an agreement. Any objections before we proceed? I trust the Traveler's judgment. Then Paimon it is. Okay, let's and light now, it instead. The world's most excellent Traveler's greatest companion, guide, and friend. Paimon <laughs> will be refilling and lighting the incense for us. Here you go. Take the match and uh, don't burn yourself. But if things go really wrong, here's a two-for-one coupon. Two-for-one coupon. Coupon. Come closely like the like this and then show. You all have relaxed heart to heart chat all the way until nightfall. Not everyone had their fill of delicious food and tea. It's time to say goodbye now that everyone had that. Okay. Sorry. Okay, I think I will stop my recording here. Yeah. Although I wish to record further, but yeah, I've got things to do. So we we'll see you later. I think I can stop here. Maybe I'll come back with another time of recording. I don't know. Uh, it's getting late. I won't take up any more of your time. You're all free to go as you please. The food and dessert were delicious. Thanks for the treat, Director. Yep, 
The tea was amazing, too. You don't have to go all polite on me. Just remember to come when I invite you next time. Hmm, let's see. It's dark out, so I'm going to accompany Xiangling, Sing Cho, and Chang Yun back home. As for the rest of the guests, I'll leave them to our consultant. Mm. No need. I'm headed towards the harbor to meet a friend on the ship. There's no need to trouble Later. one such as Mr. Zhang Li. I think you know the place I'm talking about. Come meet me anytime. Okay. It was great getting to know you all. Let's meet again when the spring breeze begins to blow. Bye. Oh, we should write poetry together sometime. Okay. We'll catch you all later then. Don't forget to return to the parlor later. There's something I need you to do. Oh, what Understood. is it? See you later. See you later. <sighs> well then. Rex Lapis. Just Zhang Li will do. I live as a mortal in Liu Harbor now. I am just one among many who begin work at sunrise and retire okay. to rest. If we were to consider status and seniority as Zhong Li, I should be respectfully referring to you as Adeptus Shao. Ugh. Heaven forbid. Adeptus Shao. Let's stop teasing him for now. <laughs> I meant what I said. I heard that during the Lantern Rite Music Festival, you conferred with Streetward Rambler and Cloud Retainer. Cloud Retainer. I take it as you've gained a lot more knowledge about the, the same truth will sound different coming from different people. As more bear witness to a story, feelings and interpretations expand in variety too. I once had a pleasant chat about the past and present with a Sumeru scholar named Soraya, Soraya. and learned a few things about her research time. From the evidence she found and the conclusion she made, her area of research is already very close to the truth. But there are multiple sides to humans and gods alike. In the legends recorded by humans, some gods some were gods. depicted as arrogant and condescending, while others were kind and capable. Is this hinting the whole storyline about gods versus humans? But whether to me, Streetwood Rambler, Cloud Retainer, or younger Adepti such as Xiao and Ganyu, those Adepti and gods that may seem extraordinary to humans are something more akin to close companions. This was as true back then as it is right now. Just how Xiao may seem unapproachable to most, but the Traveler has proved otherwise, so there's no need to dwell too much on certain things. Rex okay. La <clears throat> I mean, Zhang Li, what you're saying is- It looks like you understood what I meant. Ah, the Director asked me to accompany you on your return, but I don't think you'll need my protection. I'll be I'll taking be a walk around and admiring the night scenery. After okay. that, it'll be time for me to go back and meet up with the Director. Goodbye, Goodbye for, now. for now. Okay. Everyone's gone now. Paimon always feels a little empty inside when a lively celebration ends. But oh. at least you always stay by Paimon's side. <laughs> She's okay. No, no, no. Paimon got to mix up. Paimon, the best and most distinguished travel guide, <laughs> will always stay by your side, traveler. I'm afraid there will be a lot to ask of you in the future, too, the most English. <laughs> Good that you are aware of that. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else you want to do? We could take you on a tour of Liyue Harbor. No need. I've stayed oh. here for much longer than I had expected. Okay. The city lights are a fine sight, but it's time, it's for, time for me to leave. The events okay. of today occurred so abruptly. I appreciate, I appreciate your, kindness. your kindness. Feeling is mutual. You don't have to thank me okay. every time. Okay. I'll see you next see time. See you next time. Bye bye. Oh wow! Just vanished like that. Okay. Quest completed. So. That's all for today, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, if you want to see more, please remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification, it will notify you whenever there's a new video, and I will see you when I see you next time in the next video, bye bye!